Hello, this video is about event groups in free RTOS. I'm going to be demonstrating uh, on Windows using free RTOS simulator, and you can uh, watch the uh, notes below the video about where to get the uh, environment if you want to experiment on your own. So I'm going to be demonstrating a software watchdog which uses the event groups. A watchdog in general is a uh, it's a typically a hardware which monitors your processor and makes sure that you get back into uh, a repetitive while loop uh, every once a second or something like that. Otherwise, the watchdog can reset your CPU. In this case, we're going to use a software watchdog. It's not going to be it's not uh, as uh, guaranteed and it's not a sure shot way of protecting your system, but nevertheless. Uh, it fits the example and it does have uses in the industry as well. So to use the event groups, what you need is eventgroups.h header file. Now this assumes that you have free RTOS uh, include files as well. And we're going to be, uh, we're going to make an assumption that you know how to use free RTOS tasks. So I have got here an event handle called task watchdog. And the way it's going to work is uh, the event groups has uh, typically as many bits as your processor. So if your processor is 32 bits, you have 32 uh, bits inside of this event group. Uh, I'm only, only going to be using two bits, and let's call it bit number, uh, bit position A and B, uh, or bit position uh, 0 and 1. Now, the idea is that task 1, which we'll call a good task, will go ahead and set bit number 0 uh, periodically. Task 2 will go ahead and set bit number 1 periodically. And a software watchdog task will monitor to make sure that all expected bits are set. Otherwise, we can flag indicating that the system is not operating uh, as expected or one of the tasks might have got, gotten stuck in, in an infinite loop. So we've, we have assigned it a bit position. So this notation 1 shift left by 0 is basically the number uh, in, in hex 0, 1. And 1 shift left by 2, 1 uh, is, is the number 0, x 0, 2. So 1 shift left by 0 is just a bit position. And 1 shift left by 1 is just a bit position, uh, which are the following numbers. Now, I have got a variable here, tasks all bits. Uh, this should be equal to every single bit uh, that you expect to be set. So I expect two bits to be set. So it, it should be the uh, number three. Now, take a look at the good task. It's a very simple task. All it does is every one second, it goes ahead and sets a bit. So before we actually uh, talk about the X event group set bits, Let's go ahead and show you how to create the event groups. So event, creating an event group is really easy. You simply say um, event uh, x event group create, and you, you get returned uh, the ID of the event group. So I'm going to uh, skim over this. In, in this case, we're creating three tasks. We have a good task, a bad task, and a software watchdog task. Now it's very important that if you implement a software watchdog in your system, that the priority of the software watchdog is the highest in the system. Because if one of the tasks gets stuck, uh, this task called the software watchdog might not ever execute. So you want the software watchdog to execute at the highest priority, so therefore I have set it to priority level two. And the rest of uh, the two tasks in my system uh, it's priority level one. So your main function is really simple. Uh, you can ignore this line of code. It's just used for um, my compiler environment. So line number 714, we're saying task watchdog, uh, which again was simply event group handle T uh, task watchdog. So this was uh, a type of the event group handle. This variable equals to X event group create. Then I went ahead and created two tasks. We'll call it good and bad. And I'll explain why the second one is bad. And 
and uh, I created the software watchdog task. So this one I already demonstrated. The idea is every single task will set its appropriate bit. So for example, the good task is always going to set bit number zero every once a second. And likewise, I expect the bad task to also set bit number, uh, a different bit, bit number one, uh, every once a second. So good task is nothing, but uh, we use the X event group set bits API, and we pass it the handle which event group um, to use, and then which bits to set. Now, you can always, uh, in, in free RTOS, go to the website or just control click a couple of times to read the documentation of this function. So I'm not gonna uh, go over the detailed documentation, uh, but the idea is we're, we're setting one bit inside of this event group. Now the bad task uh, does uh, something different. Uh, typically, if the X is um, for the first three seconds, based on this logic, uh, for the first three seconds, we're going to set um, bit number one. As you can see, bad task ID is bit number one, and then delay by a second. Uh, we're gonna do that three times, but um, uh, uh, actually third time, fourth time, and fifth time, we're not gonna uh, set the bit on purpose. Now, let's go over to the most important part of this video, which is the software watchdog. So the software watchdog uh, is a task that waits for both of those two bits to set. And the point of using the event groups is it, it takes care of, uh, the RTOS takes care of setting the bits atomically. Uh, so the bit um, read, modify, write is taken care of. The software watchdog on line number 690 says that the first parameter is the uh, event group handle, that's the task watchdog. The second parameter is which bits do you want to wait for? So in this case, I wanted to wait for both bits. So the tasks all bits is basically uh, the value of three, binary one, one because I want to wait for both the good task and the bad task to set the bit. The third parameter is, is a true or false Boolean parameter, and it says that clear on exit. So I want to wait for these two bits to set, and when this function returns, I want to clear those two bits. The next parameter is wait for all bits. So I want to wait for all of these bits to set not just one. And the final parameter is how long am I willing to wait for? So because my other two tasks set the bit um, every once, once a second, so the software watchdog just waits two seconds. And if there's ever a scenario where for two seconds you don't get both of those bits set, then uh, we can indicate that one of those tasks is stuck in a while loop or an infinite um, uh, loop. So the X event group wait bits is, is the function used by the software watchdog and it has very verbose documentation. I encourage you to uh, basically read the uh, free RTOS event groups.h header file or you can just go online. It even demonstrates by example, okay? And um, this is probably even more verbose than my example. So it gives you exactly what you're trying to do. In, this, in, in my case, I was waiting for bit zero to be set and bit one to be set. And I said, clear these two bits uh, before returning. And uh, in my case, I said PD true, meaning I wanna wait for both of these bits to set. So the idea is your event groups API uh, can allow you to monitor multiple events in a way. You're, you're waiting for multiple tasks to set this bit. So then on line number 696, all the way until 706, the logic is that if, uh, so by the way, this event group's uh, wait bits API will return you the result. So if the result says that both of these bits are set, that's what this logic is doing right here. If both of the bits are set, then the system is operating normally. So the system is healthy. 
Now, if the both of the bits are not set, then line number 700 through 705 basically check uh, which task uh, did not set its bit. So I, I have a good task and a bad task. Good task always sets the bit, so we'll never see line number 701. And bad task uh, um, doesn't set the bit the third, fourth, and fifth time. I already have the output from the previous run, but I'm going to run my program anyway. So again, this is free art of simulator running on Windows. So for the first uh, three seconds, uh, or two in this case actually, it's going to say system is healthy, and then for next uh, uh, three seconds, roughly, it's going uh, the bad task is not going to set its bit. So that's why we we got the output bad task stopped responding. So let's inspect what the bad task did. Basically, bad task I incremented first. So uh, when x is one and two, it it um, it sets the bit and system is operating normally. But when it x is three, four, five, and six, um, and remember that I waited two seconds for the bit to set. So for four seconds, I don't set the bit, and the watchdog um, task outputs two times because the timeout was two seconds right here. So for two seconds, we were able to detect the fact that uh, the bad task did not set its bit, indicating that it's running its uh, task loop correctly. So this is a software watchdog, uh, essentially tells you which task is uh, not operating normally, granted that in this simple example, we expect that every task um, sets the bit once a second. So to recap, we have an event groups.h header file include. We have a handle called task watchdog. That handle is created by simply saying task watchdog equals to x event group create. Once the event group is created, I can then use the handle. So the good task uses this handle and always sets bit number um, zero in this uh, case. And the bad task. So it's important that every task has its unique bit position. So uh, there's so many ways to do this, but uh, in this case, it's hard coded that the bad task is always going to set the bad task ID, which is uh, bit position number one. Now, both of these uh, tasks are setting their ap appropriate bits of the same um, task watchdog event group. And then the watchdog task now waits for both of these bits to be set. So the idea is you're blocking on multiple events um, in a way. You're blocking on multiple bits to be set, uh, and you can optionally wait to, to see one of the bits set, or you can wait until all of the bits that you expect are set. If all of the bits um, are set, then the returned value is going to be the same as tasks all bit. In fact, I, can, I should be able to just do if result equals, uh, and, and the example should still work, um, and just like previously. So we'll let that run. For two seconds, it's good. For the next uh, four seconds, it's bad. So that's why there's a greater timeout. The, the watchdog task is, is using two second timeout to, to wait until the bits are set, and then the system runs normally after that. So the return result tells you which bits were set. And remember that in this example, you're not going to return until the timeout. So you're only going to return after two, two seconds. And it's, it's a timeout. So even though we said that wait for all bits to be set, there, there is a timeout of two seconds that ignores this parameter. Because it's saying that, hey, it's been two seconds, and the bits that you wanted are not set. So that's why we go in here and we print some uh, error messages. So this is it for this video. And there will be a follow-up video regarding the blocking on multiple uh, queues and some hours. So this is just uh, uh, blocking on multiple bits. There's no message passing other than just the bits. There's no queue or integer passing. Uh, but in a follow-up video, I'll demonstrate how a task can block on multiple queues and semaphores.